It's a sisterhood above all. Be quiet, sorceress. Hey everyone, this is Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. My name is James. If you enjoy Dune Prophecy, hit that subscribe button. We talk about it all the time on this channel. We review every episode after it happens. And so far, I gotta say, I am enjoying this show. I'm still a little bit nervous and anxious about where they're gonna go and what decisions they're gonna make going forward because I still feel like it could either be great or it's just gonna fall flat on its face. And I'm not sure where we are yet, but right now I am enjoying it. I'm especially enjoying the character of Desmond Hart. He's bringing something to this series that I wasn't expecting, and I have no idea what to expect from this guy. I think after episode three, we'll do some videos on the channel discussing who and what he might be in the ultimate story. But for now, I wanna talk about episode three, which is Sisterhood Above All, and that's coming out this Sunday on HBO and a Max, and I can't wait to see where they're going after the revelations after the end of episode two, where all of a sudden Desmond Hart has now outed himself to a bunch of people, but the information is gonna stay hidden in there, but the sisterhood knows what they're up against now. If you're not caught up with Dune Prophecy, hit pause, go back, watch it. In just about over two hours, we'll reconnect. Valiant knows that there is an antagonist waiting in the wings, someone who wants to tear down possibly the sisterhood and what she is trying to achieve and manipulate into power and becoming powerful in the sisterhood and what the sisterhood could be in the Dune universe. And Desmond Hart is the one that's going to stop all this or is on a mission to stop it all. But we don't know why or how, but he is immune to the voice and Valius was fearful and he finally admitted to and he was able to admit to her and explain to her that he knows what her ultimate fear is and that terrified Valia and that moment there and that ending of that episode was absolutely spectacular. So I can't wait to see where they're going. That part is really intriguing me. I like Carino a lot. I want to see what's going on with him. He's a pawn right now but I want to see how they're going to elevate his character and make him maybe be more aware. His wife is spectacular. She's like she's pulling strings as well. Like everyone's pulling his strings and he's just an the ultimate puppet right now. But whether or not he stays that way or he grows, we don't know at this point. I'm really curious to see how they're going to play it. But that's one of the things that has me kind of on the edge of my seat in a way that I'm nervously anxious about what they're going to do with him. I'm like, are you going to pull this off or not? But right now, I, I think at Desmond Hart, for me, is a showstopper on this one. When he's on the screen now, you're like, who's going to get burned alive? Who's going to get burned alive? Who's going to get burnt from the inside from this guy? I don't even know, but I love every moment of it. I love that he's calculated and manipulative and he knows what he's doing and he has a mission he is on a mission and i can't wait to unravel the mystery of what said mission is so let's get right into it they released a trailer just after the first episode or after episode two dropped uh let's break it down and talk about it a little bit also i want to know what your comments are i want to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below on dune prophecy what you hope and what you expect from episode three sisterhood above all this episode three trailer hints that we're heading back into the past with Emily Watson's Valia Harkonnen and Olivia Williams' Tula Harkonnen. This journey to the Harkonnen homeworld promises some fascinating world building as we uncover how Valia and her family navigate internal conflicts while laying the groundwork for their role in the Imperium. The trailer also teases the growing threat posed by Desmond Hart, whose influence over the Emperor could spell disaster for the Sisterhood. Meanwhile, it appears that Valia is determined to harness the full potential of the Rosak poison ritual, which we saw Sister Lila endure in Episode 2. The trailer suggests the ritual will play a critical role in the Sisterhood's quest for power, and possibly in its survival against eternal threats. I'm curious how they're going to play out with this as well, because I believe in the Weeks to Come trailer, we see Lila walking around, so she is not going to die here, right? She's going to come back from it. They're saying no one's ever come back from this. So she is the one. So what does that mean? And how is this all building towards the Imperium and what to expect? No one has ever returned from the state this child is in. The third episode of Doom Prophecy titled Sisterhood Above All is expected to dive deeper into the mysterious motives and origins of Desmond Hart, who has become a focal point of intrigue based on the events from the first two episodes. This chapter might further explore the political tension between the Great Houses, the Emperor's growing unease with the Sisterhood, and the undercurrent of dissent among the lower classes. Key themes likely to be explored include the follow from the deaths of Trusair Kasha and Council Pruitt. Desmond's enigmatic proclamation, I'm the only one who can tell you the truth and how his prowess challenges the existing power dynamics within the Imperium. 
One of the aspects of the show that I was really looking forward to and going into it was learning about the origins of the Bene Gesserit. I'm really excited to see how they're going to do it. And this episode looks like they're going to explore it even more. This is, of course, a shorter season with only six episodes. And this is the halfway point. So I also imagine that something of high magnitude is going to happen towards the end of this episode that's really going to spark the remaining three. That seems to be the MO of these. I mean, this isn't technically a streaming show, but it's in the streaming world now. So I think that's the MO of these streaming series is the halfway point. Something explosive happens and we're right there. So something major is going to occur here, whether it has to do with Desmond Hart or the sisterhood itself. We're going to learn something. And Lila is going to come obviously back from the dead, I think, in this episode or whatever whatever state she's in. She's going to come back from and, and that's going to blow the sisterhood wide open and she might even be mother superior by the end of this or on her way to becoming mother superior by the end of this and how Valia is going to accept that or tolerate that or how she will even respond to all that because she's also dealing with the Imperium as well and the threat of Desmond Hart who is lingering by her knowing that he could attack at any time unknowing to anyone and there's a lot at play here and, Val and Valia is the key to all of it and I'm really curious how they're going to get her to step up and what her angle is going to be and how she's going to maneuver and get away from all this if she even is going to come out on top of it all because they're setting somebody up to fail big right Carino or Valia who's it going to be we're halfway there I think all you know suspicions would lead to Carino but Valia right now if you Think of all the things that are stacked up against her. It could be her. She was so set in the old ways. She, Her pure determination, her desire is to be the head of the sisterhood and to bring the sisterhood to the forefront of the universe, that that could be, or the galaxy, that could be her downfall ultimately. And I'm really, really excited to see where they take that and how they're going to go with that. You know, I've seen a lot of the comments on this channel talking about this show and how they find it a slog, how there's some greatness in there. But it's a slog to get to the point. Like it's slow and it's dreary and it kind of makes you wait. And they don't find a lot of it very fascinating or intriguing. As intriguing as it should be or could be, I, I'm kind of in the middle. I, I do enjoy the show, but I, I totally understand where they're coming from. I think, though, with the Week Ahead trailer and with the Episode 3 trailer and where we are now with Desmond Hart pitting himself against the Sisterhood, the Sisterhood aware of who he is or Valia at least knowing who he is, I think now... We're at a point where you can look at it and step back and say, okay, there's two ways this is going to go. Either your fears are going to come to, to fruition and be realized, and you're going to say, oh, damn, that didn't turn out the way I was hoping, or they're going to stick the landing, which is absolutely what I'm hoping that they do. I think it looks like it's very exciting stuff coming ahead in the, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, there's only three episodes to go. We're halfway there. I feel like every episode is going to be a gut punch and a punch to the face in a very good way. Like things are going to happen, dominoes are going to drop, and that's what I'm looking forward to. But I guess time's going to tell, right? We don't know. I haven't seen the episodes. I know some people have, but I have not seen the episodes, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, uh, talking to you guys more about it in the weeks coming up and Sunday after episode three. Cannot wait to talk about it, and then three more after that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And let me know your thoughts on Dune Prophecy in the comments down below. Can't wait to hear them and read them. Thanks for watching, everybody. May you be the master of your own universe.